Hey, this is Gareth with Dynamax. All right, let's look at how to set the password for your key fob keyless entry pad. There are six keys, one, three, five, seven, nine, and a bell-shaped key. Now let's make sure the locking system works. To lock your door, press the five key three times. Now there's a factory set passcode, so to unlock it again, we need to input the passcode. It's 13579, then press the bell-shaped key to enter it. There, now it's unlocked again. So now we know that it's working. Let's try changing the passcode. To do that, we start by pressing the bell-shaped key three times. This tells the system that we are about to change the passcode, but we'll also need to put in the old passcode. So we press 13579, then the bell key to enter. We can now make up a new passcode. Let's do something easy to remember, like 1313. And then press the bell-shaped key just one more time to indicate that you're done inputting the new passcode. The green light will flash twice to indicate a successful passcode reset. Now let's test it out. Remember, 555 to lock it. Now let's try the new code, 1313 bell key. It worked. Now I'm just gonna reset this back to the factory set code so that whoever's working on this unit doesn't accidentally get locked out. So it's the bell key three times followed by the current passcode, 1313, then the bell key and the new passcode, 13579 and the bell key one more time. And the green light flashes twice to tell us that the passcode has been reset once more. Now in case your key fob remotes need a new battery or has not been programmed, let's look at how to program them. It's a relatively simple three-step process. There are just a few things to keep in mind. First step is to cut the power from the door panel and bring it back. This is done by opening and closing the door. If you look at the bottom of the door jam, you'll see two metal contact plates and two pins. This is what powers your key fob panel. Within five seconds of bringing the power back, press one and nine together. You will hear a noise coming from the locking mechanism. Within five seconds after that, press any button on your remote key fob to pair it. Now because you have two key fobs, you'll need to do both key fobs. Remember to do all this after setting a new passcode for the door panel. If you reset your passcode, you will need to reset your remotes as well. And if you're having any issues with anything key fob related, be sure to check those contact plates and pins on the inside of the door jam. Over time, there's a potential for them to get rusty, corroded, or out of alignment. So that should be your first stop when troubleshooting.